learners, today we're going to talk about equation of a circle in standard form. But before we discuss how to determine the equation of a circle in standard form, let us try identifying first the center and radius of a circle given its graph. So, sa item number 1, nakalagay na yung sagot. We have the center is at 0, 0 or yung sa origin natin. And yung radius naman ay 3 units. So, we make sure na yung center natin ay equidistant from any points. So, we can examine yung points from the center to a point on its right side. Okay? So, ang bibilangin natin, we have 1, 2, and 3. So, that is 3 units. Pwede rin tayong magbilang upward or downward from our center. So, if we're going to count how many units upward from our center, we have 1, 2, and 3. As we all know, lahat ng radius sa isang given or particular na circle, yung lahat ng radius niya ay equal. Now, let's try number 2. What would be the center? So, kakanap lang tayo ng point. We're going to locate the center and we make are going to make sure na yung center are equidistant to any point. So, after nating ma-determine yung center, we can check if equidistant ba siya from any points. So, yung points na pipilain natin ay yung vertically aligned or horizontally aligned sa na-determine natin na center. So, kung ito yung center natin, its radius would be 1, 2, 3, Four. So, that would be 4 units. Pwede rin natin i-check siya sa baba or downward the center. So, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Still 4 units. So, since equal sila, then we can, we are assured that yung center natin is nasa 3, 2, at yung radius naman natin ay 4 units. For example, number 3, our center is at negative 4, negative 5. So, ito yung location ng center natin. Si negative 4 at negative 5. Okay, ito yung point. Then, from here, pwede tayong bumilang ng ilang units upward, downward, or sideways. And, our radius would be 5 units. Sa last item naman, yung center niya ay nasa origin. At yung radius naman niya is 6 units. Now, let's focus on the circles in which yung center nila ay nasa origin. So, if ang center ng given circle ay nasa origin, then we can say that its standard form is in the form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, in which yung r squared natin dito represents our radius. Let us say we have this problem. What is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at the region and it has a radius of length 7 units? So, since yung center ng given problem natin ay nasa origin, ibig sabihin yung ordered pair niya would be 0, 0, then we're going to make use of the standard form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, in this case, yung papalitan lang natin na value is yung sa radius. So, yung radius natin is 7 units. Therefore, we're going to substitute 7 sa place ni r. And it will become 7 squared. So, your final answer could be already this one. x squared plus y squared is equal to 7 squared. So, this is already correct. Or, you can also simplify yung r squared natin. Pwede natin gawing x squared plus y squared is equal to 49. So, 49 galing siya sa 7 squared. 7 squared means 7 times 7. So, ito yung magiging final answer natin. It could be this one or pwede ganito, yung simplified form. 
Next situation. What is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at the origin and it has a radius of length 9 units? So again, since nasa origin yung center niya, gagamit pa rin tayo ng standard form na x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Then we're going to substitute yung value ng r and change it to 9 units. So, the final answer is x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 squared. Or, we can simplify that further. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 81. And lastly, what is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at the origin and it has a radius of length square root of 5 units? Same pa rin yung standard form natin kasi nga yung center ay nasa origin. Substitute natin yung value ng r or ng radius natin so it will become square root of 5. So this could be your final answer or pwede rin natin siyang i-simplify. So pa sa pag-simplify yung square root of 5, you're going to raise that 1 to 2. We can cancel the radical sign. And 2, then our final answer would be 5. Okay, or x squared plus y squared is equal to 5. Now, what if yung center natin ay wala sa origin? So, let us say yung center ng given circle natin ay nasa point HK. So, the standard form of the equation of a circle is given in the form the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to R squared, where H and K means the number of units, the circle is translated horizontally and vertically from the origin. So, yung HK natin dito, ito yung coordinates ng center ng circle. So, HK, ibig sabihin nito, yung center, yung center ng circle ay wala sa origin. Let us have an example. What is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at negative 1, negative 5, and it has a radius of 4 units? So, yung gagamitin na natin na standard form ngayon would be this one. So, yung value ng h natin is negative 1, at yung value naman ng k natin is si negative 5. Again, yung sa standard form natin, yung negative dito, yung minus dito is constant already. So, if in case negative yung given coordinates natin, ilalagay natin siya sa parenthesis para hindi tayo malito sa pag-simplify. So, it would be this one. The quantity of x minus the quantity of negative 1, quantity squared, plus y minus the quantity of negative 5, quantity squared, is equal to 4 squared. So, uunahin mo natin i-simplify itong sa x minus h. So, negative times negative 1, that would be equal to positive 1. Kaya, yung magiging answer natin would be the quantity of x plus 1 squared. Pagdating naman dito sa y, we have y minus the quantity of negative 5. So, negative times negative 5, that would become positive 5. So, yung simplified form natin would be y plus 5. So, this could be your final answer. Considered na to siya as correct. Or, you can also simplify yung nasa right side ng equation natin. So, 4 squared, that would be equal to 16. Next example, we have what is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at negative 3, 4, and it has a radius of length 6 units. So, same pa rin yung gagamitin natin na standard form. Then, since yung value ng h natin ay negative, then we're going to place that one inside the parenthesis. Then, yung positive 4 natin na value na k becomes negative 4 now. Then, of course, yung radius natin is 6. Isisimplify lang natin itong muna, yung x minus the quantity of negative 3. And it will become the quantity of x plus 3 squared. Then bring down natin yung next. We have the quantity of y minus 4 squared. Then equal to 6 
squared. So, this could be your final answer. Or pwede rin natin simplify yung radius natin. It would become 36. What is the equation of a circle in standard form if its center is at 6, negative 2 and it has a radius of length 3 units? So again, same pa rin yung standard form. Given na yung center natin ay wala sa origin. We're going to substitute yung given. Then, simplify lang natin. Then, this would be your final answer. The quantity of x minus 6 squared plus the quantity of y plus 2, 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. Or you can simplify yung sa radius natin. 3 squared becomes 9. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.